Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through how to cut a shirt and palazzo. But for this particular video, I'm going to be cutting the palazzo trouser first. This palazzo trouser we have side zippers and it's going to be high waist. Let's get into the video. So fold your fabric into two. Measure 1.5 inches at the waist point. From the waist point, measure your hip length measurement. For my is it i'll be adding five 0 0.5 inches as seam allowance and after measuring the hip line measurement measure the crotch length the crotch length measurement you can get that by dividing your hip measurement over four your hip measurement over four plus 0 0.5 inch allowance for mine mine is 41 divided by four that's 10.25 Then transfer the measurement to the other side of the fabric so that it'll be very easy for you to draw a straight line. Then draw out your hip line and your crotch line. So measure your trouser length for mine. My current trouser length is plus two, so plus two inches. Sorry, the camera can capture the full length of the fabric. So you transfer the 1.5 inches, transfer it to the bottom of the trouser, then from the waist you create a bend to join the hip line. You don't have to measure 1.5 at the hip line, you just at the waist to create that curvy effect. So you connect the hip line to the end of the trouser, that is the bottom of the trouser. So I'm going to go ahead by him putting my waist measurement for my client our waist measurement is 30 inches divided by 4 that is going to be 7.5 that's going to be 7.5 inches so you are going to add 1 inch to the waist measurement that is 7.5 inches plus 1 that is 8.5 inches Seven point five plus 1 that is 8.5 only the waist point then i'll measure my hip measurement for my client her hip is 41 divided by 4 that's 5 i won't be adding any other measurements or inches to this hip line measurement so at my crotch line you connect before that you connect the waist point to the hip point So at my crotch line, that's where I'm going to input my tie measurement. For my client, 
Her time measurement is 24. Without any allowance, I'll input 12 inches. Then you connect the hip line to the crotch line. You create a curve. Then input um, waist to knee measurement for my client and waist to knee measurement is 22. So I'll transfer the 22 inches to that side so that it'll be easy for me to draw a straight line to avoid inaccurate measurement. So I'm going to input a time measurement. Remember, this is the palazzo trouser, so it will be free, it's not a fitted trouser. So that is, I'm going to input my knee measurement. Note that this won't have any additional allowance. So for instance, if your knee is 20, 25, 24, that means you'll be imputing it divided by 2 without any allowance. Then you join from the crotch line, you create a bend. If you are not good with freehand, you can use French curve to achieve that bend. Then I'm going to be transferring the knee measurement to the M of the trouser button that is the bottom of the trouser because I'm going to maintain the same measurement for the knee to the lower part of the trouser So connect the end of the trouser to the knee point. So at the waist point, I'm going to go down by one inch to create a bend for the front of it to create a bend and I'm going to be inputting the pocket measurement for my pocket I'll go by 2 inches and 7 inches that is 2 inches for the horizontal measurement then 7 inches for the vertical measurement but note that you don't have to cut out the pocket now for me personally I don't cut out the pocket until I'm done measuring the front and back patterns then cut it out and for the for the back piece the back pattern you are going to place your front pattern on the back pattern so what you are going to be doing here i naturally placed the other side of the fabric so that you can differentiate the front pattern from the back pattern so for the front being placed on the back pattern, so I'm going to be in, in extending the crotch length by two inches. For the back pattern, I'm going to be in, increasing the crotch length by two inches. Then at the waist point on top, I'm going to increase it inches also. Then for the sides, for just the other side, for the right hand side one inch same as the left hand side you create a bend then you measure one inch all through 
all true when you one inch all true then you input your waist to knee measurement remember mine is 22 so at that point you extend that side by one inch then you connect it to the extended two inches crotch line then for the rest the bottom of the trouser you input one inch so for my band for the band it's going to be three inches it depends on what you want you can decide to use two inches but mine is three inches my band is going to be three inches high so for the pocket place the front pattern on a fabric you fold the fabric into two then into four then you place the point front pattern on the trailer then you cut it out this is what you have then remember the two inches by seven inches we measured you place it on the pocket pattern then you cut it out with the front pattern remember just one side you're going to cut out just the side of the pocket just one side This is what you have. You see, you have that chamfered edge has just one side. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and click on that notification bell so as to receive new updates. Thank you so much. Please like this video, share, and comment. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.